today we are going to be doing a thrift flip. So I've been loving needlepoint everything recently and I thrifted this, I think they're curtains, blanket curtains, but I love the pattern on them and I want to make them into pants. So basically I, ha I actually found a bunch of patterns which will help a ton with this project and this is actually new I think. So that's going to be amazing that way we can do some pants so there's a bunch of there's a bunch of different ones that i can make three different pairs of pants one's a pair of culottes i think i think i'm gonna make i'm gonna make one of these two i think it's a a b i thought that i would do this on the ground that way i will be able to like lay everything out and stuff what's up how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel if you're new here subscribe yeah so look at this print though it's so bomb i thrifted this a while back and i was using it as a blanket for a while and then i was like actually i think i want to make some funky ass pants out of that so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today so i think i'm probably gonna have to flip it over to cut out the pattern i did take fashion class in high school like, I don't remember how to use a pattern, really. Like, kind of. We'll see. Okay, so I've cut out the pattern, so now I have to place it on this and cut out two of each. Now I gotta get my pins and I'm gonna pin everything, or pin these down. Usually I just rework items. I don't ever actually make them from scratch. So this is like new for me. I used to actually all the time. So when I was in high school, I used to make so many things from scratch, but now I don't do that. I just, it's a really frustrating process. Where'd I put my scissors? Ciseau. I'll put it right here. Okay, now we cut. Maybe I'll make like a top out of like a tube top or something that would look fire So these are the two fronts So we need to sew them on the outside correct and then these are the two backs Okay, so I'm just gonna match them up and then I will holla at you guys when they're all matched up and ready to sew. Now we pin. Okay, I think I finally figured it out, but basically I just have to sew these 
to the front and the back together first and then we will do the other side and then I think this is how it will go <laughs> maybe we'll see but I'm gonna sew it at five eighths of an inch which is typical gonna end up hemming this to make it a finished hem so I'm just gonna leave that stitch like that and we did the first step so this is this so what about this big gaping hole Been here for an hour and a half almost two hours for trying to figure out just to realize that I just sewed the two pieces wrong like I sewed the uh, I sewed the opposite pieces onto each other and now it all makes sense so we're here now and we're finally going to finish sewing this together I don't even understand why it took so long for me to figure out but it did uh, I put the wrong pieces together so the crotch was on the outside and now it all makes sense. So we're gonna just, it's simple and I just messed it all up. So now I'm just gonna sew the crotch together and then the out seams. And then I was like, I have to, then I just have to do the elastic and then we're pretty much done. This could have taken 40 minutes, but I've been sitting here for three hours at this point. I started this at what, like four o'clock and it is now nine o'clock. Oh my goodness. I also watched like four YouTube videos trying to figure it out and then I realized when I just went to Google Images, I just Googled how to put basic pants together and I realized that I was just doing the wrong thing the whole entire time and this would have been done hours ago. But we figured it out, we're here. So excited for these one and only. I actually saw a pair on Jade in London that I really wanted that are like similar to this, but $200 and now I'm just gonna make this for like $5 from a blanket that we found at the thrift. <laughs> All right, let's sew. sewing them guys I just need to put the elastic in and then they'll be finished but like look 
I'm supposed to like put a, I can still like attach a band if I want to. Okay, let me figure it out, let me figure it out. Look! Okay, I'm finally just gonna try to put a waistband on, an elastic waist band, adding that. <laughs> I just googled like how to put a waistband on, it's pretty easy, so just google how to put an elastic waist in. Okay, I just want to even out the bottoms, but I do like the raw, <laughs> the raw hem. I do like the raw hem. So I'm going to do that. Okay, let's try these babies on. Are you kidding me? Look how cute they are. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, they're so cute. And they're high-waisted with the band. Wow, these were I was not expecting them to turn out so good. And they're like not completely straight leg, which is what I was like really worried about. Like they have a little bit of a like a looser fit to them, which I absolutely adore. They're so fun. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute. They fit me perfectly too. I actually I did not really follow the pattern at all. These were supposed to have pockets and I completely ignored that. But I'm obsessed with them. Maybe I'll make a top or something to go with it or a headband at least. I don't know if I have enough material for a top. It kind of destroyed the material. But these are so fire. Okay, should we go style these bad boys? Ooh. Let's go style them. I can't believe that this is the outcome of it. I'm actually in awe. Fire. So fire. <laughs> obsessed with them they looked they look so good I, i'm so excited about the way they turned out i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of a mess but i'm super excited about this fit and these amazing pants i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace